harnessing student engagement data for personalized feedback. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how we produce personalized feedback on a large scale. So what you see here is an example where a student is receiving an overview of all of their activities for the term in a particular module, in this case chemistry, and they can see all of the different facets of their activity. And this can be produced as an electronic thing or it can be printed so that the student can put it in the context of their work as seen in this maths journal. Over the course of this video, we'll give you a brief overview of how it's done. But first, what we're going to do is look at how the students respond to it, because we found that this kind of activity is really valuable and very rewarding for us as lecturers. A survey of first year math students, which received 303 responses, found that 95% of students successfully received the sheet, so the system was working, and a large majority of students agreed that this feedback was very useful, either agreeing or strongly agreeing in the survey. A large majority, although not every student, reported that it would change their approach to how they were studying maths. And when we delved into that a little bit deeper, we saw that in some cases, the students were going to now make use of resources that they hadn't previously thought of, such as a maths help clinic. So we can direct students specifically to resources which are beneficial to them. We don't direct the entire class, only the students that might benefit most from this. On the other hand, we also have students reporting that they are going to make no change. But this isn't necessarily bad either. And this is reflected in the detailed feedback we received from another group of students who received a similar letter, chemistry first years. 94% of those students agreed that the feedback was useful and 72% said it was going to change how they behaved. But for many students, the feedback that we received was that actually they were on top of things and this feedback allowed them to know that they were on the right track and that they didn't need to be anxious about their overall college performance. So in that sense, it's also very useful for students who are struggling, but also for students who are doing well. So how do we do this? Well, it's a multi-step process. The first thing that we do is we take the information we have about the students from the VLE. So that's attendance, grades, and any other information you might have. We then categorize that information. So for example, attendance, we say, if a student has perfect attendance, they get a comment that reflects that. If they have between 80 and 100, they get a comment that says they're doing well, they have missed some labs, but they're making their attendance requirement. Below 80, they need to catch up, and below 50, they need an intervention, so they need to come see the lecturer. Once we have done that, we use an if statement to assign each of those comments to the relevant student's grades. And once we have our Excel sheet with all of the relevant comments in it, we form a mail merge and we can use that to pull the comments for each student into a letter. This letter contains personal and individual feedback for that student. And if we want, we can give them particular pointers to particular assistance or particular actions or particular uh, changes in their learning practices. So it is a truly personalized piece of feedback. OK, this video has only scratched the surface of how we do this. So if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to see the process in detail, there's a second video. You can see the link for it here. And that will uh, go through in detail, step by step, each of the processes necessary to make this work for you. It doesn't matter what VLE you're using, as long as you can get your students information, so their grades and their attendance and those kind of things. And all it requires is Excel and Microsoft Word, so it's accessible for everybody. If you have any questions, you can contact us at the email address there. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks.